Welcome to Fin Street. Today we are discussing the Q3 FI23 performance of the banking sector with Mr. Darpin Shah, Director at Haitong Securities. Uh, welcome to the show, uh, Mr. Darpin. To begin with, you know, Q3 FI23 performance of the banking sector is perhaps one of the best that you are seeing in last 8 to 10 uh, years. So what stood out for you and what trend can continue going ahead as well? Yeah, thanks, Abhishek. Thanks, for, uh, first of all, for having me for the show. Uh, yes, you're absolutely right. You know, last couple of quarters have been uh, one of the best for the industry. Uh, you can compare, you know, on any parameter, whether it is credit growth, margins, asset quality, you know, it has been improving on a, a sequential basis and beating the consensus, consensus estimates as well. So, as I mentioned, you know, if you look at credit growth uh, in, in, you know, high teens, which was broad based and you know driven by both corporate uh, and in retail segment as well psus and private both have contributed margins thanks to the eblr book you know the margins have been improving uh, slippages have been lower and asset quality because of that has been improving so an all round performance i'll say for the sector uh, going forward what we expect expect is you know some kind of a moderation in in credit growth some kind of a moderation in margins at least in fy24 Having said that, uh, we believe that you know the sector is still well placed to deliver a healthy you know net earnings growth even for the next year as well. Well, you spoke about moderation in loan growth uh, going ahead. So, what is the estimation in terms of loan growth for FI twenty three and twenty four? So, I, I'll talk about our coverage universe, you know, which is approximately sixteen seventeen odd banks. So, if you see uh, as per the RBI data, currently at the end of tenth uh, of February. The credit growth for the system as a whole uh, is healthy at still around around 16 and a half percent kind of a number. Uh, we expect for the full year of FY23, <clears throat> our coverage universe to report somewhere around 17 percent odd growth. Uh, however, you know in FY24, if we see there will be some moderation in growth, that is what we are expecting, and this will be largely because of some base effect of FY23 and the recent rise in rates which we have seen. So we are factoring somewhere around 14 and a half, 15 percent kind of a growth for FY24. Um, if you further bifurcate this growth for FY24, what we believe is that you know large private sector banks in the overall private sector uh, basket as a whole will continue to deliver 16, 17 percent loan growth. PSUs will see a sharp drop, and we are factoring somewhere around 12, 13 percent growth. Uh, having said this, Abhishek, you know, one should keep in mind uh, if, if there is any kind of a private capex which picks up significantly, uh, we'll be, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, bound to upgrade the numbers for PSU banks in terms of credit growth as well. Well, Darpin, you spoke about PSU banks. They are on fire in terms of performance, especially on the PNL and asset quality front. So, since Q4 FI21, you know, there has been massive turnaround for the entire PSU basket as a whole in the banking sector. So, what is your thought on the performance of PSU banks uh, till now and can it sustain going ahead as well? Uh, so, yeah, rightly you have mentioned last six, seven quarters have been very phenomenal for PSU banks. But one should not forget that, you know, they were coming out of big pain or big underperformance, both in terms of business and net earnings for the last seven, eight years. Okay. Uh, so that is where uh, we are seeing such bright spot for them. Now, if you see for last uh, couple of quarters or more, uh, the coverage ratios have significantly improved. You know, they are as high as 75 and 80 percent plus or in some cases almost at 90 percent as well. You know, so their health of balance sheet is significantly better. Also, to add, the capital positions have been phenomenally higher. Uh, if you compare to, to say somewhere around 2010-11, which was the best years for PSU banks, from that level till now, they are delivering you know much better in terms of uh, coverage ratios and uh, and capital adequacy. So they are far more better placed. What we expect, as I mentioned earlier, slightly tapering of growth for them. Uh, but again, if private capex picks up, uh, they should continue to do well as well in terms of growth. Well, uh, you know, Darpin, one of the points uh, that I noted in the last few quarters result is that private banks are, uh, you know, focusing on branch expansion at a time when digitization is taking place. So what is your thought on the branch expansion spree that private lenders have come in over the last four to six quarters? Yeah, very, 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 very good observation, Abhishek. Uh, so, you know, the thing is, you know, while we talk about digitization and you mean moving fast towards uh, the digital economy, the thing is, you know, India is still a country where touch and feel is, is the business model or is the business strategy which most of the lenders still follow and 
the the young population even the young population still still requires that so and also not to forget 65% of the deposits in the system are still with the psu banks so definitely private sector banks are looking towards first uh, you know having a touch and feel with the with the customer and second to garner this kind of a higher deposit share which its psus have to garner that they are definitely increasing their branch network uh one thing to note is you know while they are expanding their branches and going deeper uh what we have noticed is, is is that you know the size of these branches have significantly reduced over the last 3 to 4 years so in terms of cost structures it will still not you know have a dent on their on their pnl but it will help them to garner much more deposits uh, well uh, you know mfi is the sector that actually did well in uh, q3 fi 23 for the lenders so which segment do you expect the performance to be strong going ahead and for which segment do you feel you know there can be some weakening going ahead in terms of performance for the banking sector um yeah you are right to be said that you know mfi has done phenomenally well in in 2q and 3q as well so we expect mfi to continue to do better in the coming times in terms of pain point for the sector or which segment will have a pain point see one thing one should remember that you know while we have seen a cinderella times for the you know, credit quality in in terms of retail given the spike in uh, in the interest rates which we have seen in last uh, you know uh, three three quarters one can expect some kind of a pain uh, coming in in the retail segment and of course in the msme space as well having said this we are not much worried about the spike which will come up because of this uh, uh, interest rate hike well that's a word coming in from darpin who expects loan growth to remain strong but moderate going ahead and the uh, performance in terms of bottom line to be strong for the entire banking sector thank you for joining us and giving us time uh, darpin of uh, hightong securities